Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I've been talking lately about childhood samskaras, uh, you, maybe a person is born with them, and how they, they act, act, are acted out during the person's life. And I have another one for you. It has to do with um, uh, sharing the playpen, sharing the toys, uh, and uh, stealing toys from other children, you know, in the sandbox, right? Sandbox stories. Um, so this was an unresolved learning process that that didn't take place in the sandbox in this young person's in this older person's youth. <laughs> and uh, let's see, how did it go? Uh, you know, at the age of about two, so the mothers are hopefully overseeing the sandbox activities. The children are playing together, maybe for the first time getting acquainted with children in other families and like that, and learning to share the world's resources, basically, at a very young age. And uh, one child will steal another child's, like, shovel that he's using in the sand, or, or, or that she's using in the sand, or like that. And the mom will, if she's watching, will come around and say, no, honey, don't do that. Take it away from him, right, like that. And say, no, honey, don't do that. This is, this is Johnny's, you know, this is Johnny's shuffle. And then what happens typically, as I recall, is that the two-year-old who initially grabbed that, that shovel from the other child and doesn't understand the process of socialization that's going on, starts crying like it's furious, absolutely furious, flies into a rage and cries and shouts and tries to hit the mother, hit the other child, throw sand, all kinds of things happen in the sandbox. So, apparently in the case of this young child, the mother wasn't there at a crucial moment. And the story that, that was learned in the sandbox was that, that it's okay to steal the other child's toys. And what has resulted is a history throughout the life of, for instance, plagiarism, and publishing other people's works and uh, not giving other people credit for instance like in the Creative Commons license that I have it says share with all the world the international community provided you offer attribution and attribution means you pay back the favor of getting this stuff for free by putting the other person's the original person's name and in your work and saying that that they have helped you with your work you know like that offering attribution to the original source so what will happen in the in the instance of the your things are my things right plagiarism issue is that the the information will be lifted from another person and maybe many many other people and published and or the um, music will be copied from many other people and and put forth for for money with no attribution or in the case of copyright with no like reference to copyright claim so on the psychic plane this can extend if a person has psychic powers as is happening with all people in the world today and as all people are clearing through the great awakening um, if a person starts to realize their psychic powers they begin to feel that they can extort whatever they want from other people and as long as nobody else knows about it they can get away with it. Like for instance writing down credit card information from other people, stealing identities because of the worldwide te telepathy and these are all propensities to do with the sandbox experience of stealing other other children's toys that that are playing out until the clearing for each individual takes place and so we need to be very careful of that of course we need to watch out get our what is it called our identity insurance and so forth and 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 our umbrella liability insurance and all these things <clears throat> Here's another thing that happens with the sandbox experience of stealing other people's toys, toys, and that is being constantly on the lookout for ways to, to create frivolous lawsuits against other people. So um, we have plagiarism, and um, we have credit card th theft, and uh, identity theft through telepathy and other means. Uh, that's sometimes done also without the telepathic input, 
by, um, what is he called, um, logging onto other people's computers, especially in the library and in the coffee shops and so forth, and finding out their personal information. You all know about that. So, and the last thing that I have to offer on that is um, frivolous lawsuits. So this is all the way of saying, um, I will take the things that you, are yours. I am entitled to them, like a little child, two-year-old child who's sitting in the sandbox, who feels that all the toys in the sandbox belong to him or her.